Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing some information and some looks for what I'm going to be doing with my hair or just some hair options. I will also be including pictures of looks that I have found that are either like pictures from Instagram, Google, YouTubers that I watch, celebrities, that kind of thing. Because I have naturally wavy hair, now I do need to wash my hair, it's been several days since I've washed it, but I do have naturally wavy hair and it's very, very thick. So what I plan on doing is showing you what different hairstyles will look like on me at varying lengths if I can get my hair to cooperate with me. I will also be um, talking about what I plan on doing with my hair and that kind of stuff. So with a really quick, simple Google search, I went on and just typed in medium length wavy hair. And a lot of these hairstyles are basically what my hair would look like when it's shorter and my hair is naturally wavy. I found um, everything from shoulder blade length all the way up to chin length. And I think that after talking with the stylist, Amanda, that is going to be working with my hair, she had the same thought along the lines and further into this video you'll understand where I'm at. I do want to donate at least 20 inches. Uh, my hair is longer in some pieces and of course when I over direct it for the video later on you'll understand that I do have a good 20 inches that I can donate right now and of course I still have a, num a month to go before I get my hair cut so I should have a little bit more length. But we're thinking along the lines of what you are seeing here in these video, or this video clip from me searching Google on my phone. I mean, I really like a lot of these hairstyles. I've had quite a few of these different hairstyles, whether or not it's all one length or it's layered. A lot of these are like celebrity pictures. And then I did go on Instagram and I saved off some pictures from like YouTubers. Now this is the salon that's going to be working on my hair. The Lather Beauty Salon is owned by Amanda. This is the length right here that she's thinking for my hair, but my hair will never be that straight. That's a little bit longer than what we actually talked about. This is where I initially thought I was going to cut my hair when I first thought about donating it. That's also a good length right there. As long as I can pull it up, again that's the initial length that I thought of. That is Angelica Nyquist. I like her hairstyle. This is a friend of mine, Stephanie. Her hair is a little bit short for my taste, but I do have a really long neck. And that is right after she got a fresh haircut. That's Jeffree Star. My hair will most likely be about that length, but I do have wave to my hair. A lot wavier than that. This, I think, is going to be a little bit long if I want to donate 20 inches that's the Charlize Theron that's still a little bit long that's Margot Robbie again that'll probably be right about where I get my hair cut this is Rachel from Rachel Loves I watch her on YouTube as you can see I'm subscribed Selena Gomez there's a couple pictures of Selena Gomez and I do like a lot of the length in these pictures so hopefully you guys get an idea of what I'm looking for here we have a picture of me when I was 23 with hair right about the length that I'm thinking of doing Again, I'm 24 or 25 in this picture. It's a little bit longer. There's me with an A-line. It's kind of like a stacked bob. There is a chin, a chin length bob there. And there is a picture of me with hair just past my shoulders. Now, for those of you that have followed me for a while, I am getting my hair cut on April 11th. There is a local salon called Lather Beauty that will be working with me to cut my hair for donation. Now, because I have so much hair, I have talked to her uh, at length about my um, hair type, the texture, uh, things that I'm looking at, and just the overall decision to cut my hair for donation. Now, um, for those that don't know, I have survived cancer not once but twice. And back in 1995, when I went through ke uh, chemo and radiation, I did lose all of my hair. But when I went through surgical procedures and stuff like that in 2016 for my uterine cancer, I didn't have to go through chemo or radiation. So I ended up keeping my hair, which I'm kind of thankful for. So that has given me the outlook that 
I want to be able to donate my hair to somebody that either has cancer or has a debilitating disorder or that has some sort of like scalp condition or condition that keeps them from growing their hair naturally. So I figured because I have very thick hair, it's long, it's very coarse and it's wavy, my hair should make a pretty good uh, wig for somebody that will last a while. I know natural hair wigs sell for hundreds of dollars. I know right now with the length that it is, I could easily sell my hair for several hundred to a thousand dollars. But um, my friend Ken was telling me that he was going to donate his hair to St. Jude when he gets his cut. I did reach out to St. Jude. They do not take hair donations. I will not be using the Locks of Love service because, well, to be honest, it's kind of a scam. For all the years that I worked in a salon, we used to do hair drives twice a year, especially at the beginning of the school year when kids were coming in for fresh cuts and that kind of thing to start out the new year with. And we would do a drive for Locks of Love. And the majority of the hair that we would send into Locks of Love would go straight in the trash. It wasn't because it wasn't long enough. It wasn't because it wasn't cut right. It wasn't how it was handled in the process um, from us cutting it, the, the whether or not it was clean. It was... Now, it wasn't even the fact that it was color treated. It was just simply that they got so much in donations that they couldn't keep up with the amount of hair that they were getting. Or to be honest, they were just wasteful and they would throw it in the trash. So I have been looking into alternatives for places that I could donate my hair. I do have a couple of websites that um, St. Jude had sent me information for. And of course, they suggested a quick Google search to find either places that you can donate your hair to or uh, places that will buy your hair. So I have looked into some of those as well. Now, to get into some of the different hairstyles, I will try and find pictures of my hair at the varying lengths that I'm going to be talking about. But what I'm going to be doing is basically manipulating the hair that I have in order to make it appear shorter and um, to show you what I will personally look like with my hair shorter. So hopefully you find this helpful. And again, I will be including pictures and whatnot into this video so that you can see um, what I have in mind hair length wise for me personally. Now, this is the first hairstyle that some people had mentioned. I have had a chin length bob before. I have had a longer bob. I've had undercuts before. But because my hair is naturally wavy, usually if I get my hair cut here, it ends up being right about here when it dries. Now, I just have my hair up in clips, but I wanted to give you a general idea of what my hair would look like if it was this length. And to be honest, besides the fact that my hair keeps getting into the lip color that I have on, I don't like my hair this short. I don't mind the way that it looks on my face. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. But what it does is it irritates me and I'm constantly you know, putting my hair behind my ears. And even if I had my hair this length, I would still be able to do that. But trying to pull it back or pull it up, um, for me, it's just not something that I'm comfortable with. So this is one hair option and that is basically a, a shorter bob haircut. Okay, this hairstyle is about four, three to four inches longer than the last one. You figure the last one was up here and this one is down here. So this is a chin length hairstyle. And I did part it straight down the middle so it would be easier to like show you what this would look like. But this is basically what my hair would look like at a longer bob. And again, I can still tuck it behind my ears. And this is basically what it would look like if my hair was this length right now. This is an example of what my hair would look like several inches longer than the last cut. You figure the first cut would come to here the second one came to here. So if you look, this is four inches longer. This is a shoulder length bob haircut. Now I would probably get my hair cut on one length. And this is what the hairstylist was thinking for me in terms of like what would look best on me, especially what would get the most amount of hair for donation, as well as what would frame my face the best. So you figure if I cut my hair to right about here, not only can I still tuck it behind my ear. It frames my face well. And if I wanted to, I could do lower level layers where it like frames in towards my face. I can't do bangs because I have a really short forehead anyways. So bangs would not be in the equation. But you figure with my hair this long, I would still have to here to pull back. And I have plenty of hair. It, even though it would be a really short ponytail, I could still easily get 
my hair into a ponytail at this length. And I know initially I had talked about cutting my hair to right about here. So this isn't too much shorter than what I had initially thought or what was my initial thought process. So just imagine, let me spread out my hair some. My hair would basically be sitting on my shoulder or right below my shoulder on either side. This side keeps wanting to fall. See, this side is a lot is longer because the clip is falling. I have it up under my hair. But just to give you an example, okay, so I kept the side that length, but if I, I wanted to be able to pull one side down so I could show you Now my hair doesn't want to cooperate. So basically here was the length for the first cut, which is right in the hollow of where my cheek is. And then the second cut option would be right at chin length. And then we have the option that I'm wearing right now. I mean, I could even go to like right here which is like the halfway point between my chin and my shoulder. See, it sits up off my shoulder a little bit, whereas this sits on my shoulder. And then let me drop it down again. And now you've got the length that's at my shoulder. And then to drop it down further, This would be the longest option that I would think about cutting my hair. If my hair wants to cooperate with me. I'm using duckbill clips and they don't stay on my hair very well because my hair is very slippery. So you see how, how this one sits on my chest where this one sits up a little bit higher. See the size difference? This one's at least two inches longer, if not three inches longer than this side. But this is the longest that I would keep my hair, you know, in the process of cutting it. This right here, I think is a, a good length, but again, I still want to be able to donate as much hair as possible. So let me pull some hair forward from the back. And that's one thing I didn't bring in here was a measuring device. So using this as a guide, if I cut my hair, of course, you're going to cut it lower so that you can take it up some. So if I cut here, that only leaves this much hair. So let me go grab a measuring tape. Okay, I've got a measuring tape. It does have inches on one side and centimeters on the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my thumb where the zero is. And I'm gonna put it right where my thumb is. And then I'm gonna pull my hair with it all the way down. I need, I need more length. I'm gonna have to redo this. Okay. So that stops at 16 inches. That's only 16 inches of hair. And that's it, you know, this length here, which is from right about here on my head. Some pieces might be longer, some pieces might be shorter, but I wanted to donate at least 20 inches. So between now, which is like March 18th to April 11th, my hair should be a, at least an inch longer. So I should have 17 inches to donate, but 16 inches really isn't a whole lot of hair to take into consideration that, you know, they usually want 20 inches or more. So 16 inches isn't a lot. Now, if I was to measure out 20 inches, I'll move it up a little higher. Uh, it's still only 18 inches. Okay, if I cut my hair, to right here, then I would be able to donate 18 inches or 20 inches. And then of course my hair would end up being at least an inch shorter than that. So you figure if I grab all the way up to where my hair is right now in the front to give you a visual idea, 
And then if I cut it, um, you know, you're gonna have to band it off and then cut it. It would end up being about an inch shorter than this. So let me try and manipulate my hair to pull it up an inch higher so you can see what that looks like. I still have one in my lap and then realize it. Okay, let me measure this again. Okay. So right where my finger is, is this start of 20 inches. So this would be about where my hair would end up lengthwise if I go and cut my hair. So my hair would end up being about the midway point between my shoulder and my chin. And again, it's still long enough to put behind my ear, just to give you an idea of what it'll look like behind my ear. So it does sit up about an inch off my shoulders, inch and a half, well, an inch and a half off my base, but from the neck muscles, it, it's about an inch. So hopefully doing this visual was helpful. I will be doing um, the inserts. I, I did a Google search on my phone and screen recorded it. And then I did take pictures, like screenshots of people from Instagram, and I saved off some pictures of some celebrities onto my computer. So when I pull this video into the editor, I will be doing a voiceover for those parts, but this will be like, I'll probably put those at the front and then let you guys see me actually manipulate my hair and into the different styles so that you can see just about what my hair is going to look like on me with it being, um, you know, cut the various lengths. And even still, if my hair was cut to right about there, let me try and tame some of this stuff in the back. So you figure my hair would end up being right about this length if I was to cut and donate 20, 20 inches of it. Uh, this size a little longer but I'm sure you get the idea of it but this is basically how I would look with the the hair a little bit shorter I know a lot of people are like a lot of people are upset that I'm cutting my hair and they're like they're telling me not to cut my hair but you guys don't understand I have migraines I get migraines because my hair is thick it's hot it's heavy and people can't understand what it's like to have hair um, that's really super long. I know a lot of people, especially when I was working in salons that couldn't have their hair even shoulder length because their hair, their head couldn't stand the weight of it on their scalp. So they were getting like migraines like every day. And because I already have a migraine condition, having the long hair doesn't help. All it does is make my, my head hurt worse. And so having my hair long or having it as long as I have for the longest time, it's starting to really weigh on my health. It's making it hard for me to do normal activities. My hair ties are basically giving up the ghost and they're, I mean, they're struggling to keep my hair up. So why not cut it for a good cause and donate it to somebody that can use it? Um, granted, I do need the money. I would rather, um, but you know, instead of me profiting from my hair, um, and even if I, if I do sell, if I can't find somebody that wants it as a donation, I, I will most likely sell it and then donate the money to St. Jude instead. So that way they are getting the money that they need to continue with the research that they do and the medical care that they give to their patients. But I will also, you know, somebody else will be able to um, have my hair. So I need to get some better pictures of my hair with it wet and dry and look at posting it on some of those websites for sale just to see if there is interest in somebody like buying it, because I think trying to find uh, a wig maker at this point that will be willing to work with me with whatever hair I donate in order to make a wig to donate to somebody, I don't know a whole lot of people that would donate their time to spending thousands of hours to hand not a, a wig and then donating it to somebody that's in need. I honestly don't know. Um, and I've watched a bunch of tutorials on how people make wigs and the natural hair wigs and that kind of stuff. I just don't know anybody that would be willing to 
work with me on donating their time to make the wig and then donating the wig to somebody at like a hospital like St. Jude's. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now. So hopefully this is helpful. I'm Rebecca Overstadt. Hopefully you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will try and get some pictures of my hair with the actual length that it is now. Now, right now it is, I just pulled it back up. But standing up, you figure my waist is where this crease is. My hair comes down to right about here when my hair is completely all the way down. And you can see with my hair even pulled up and then pulled forward, it comes down to where my hip bones are. So my hair is rather long right now. So anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a great one. Bye.